Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3. We just reloaded in the mad high load. Plus, it's our media to speak. I think. Let's get to you. Boxes, mad one. Good to speak. This is the team and Warren. Who's the guy? We are on Mothership Zeta, Zeta, whichever. And we are losing our minds. Among other things. Look at all the stuff I cannot loot. It moves with physics, but I cannot loot it. I just saw something for a second. Maybe not. God damn it, Sally, where did you go? Uh, guess not this way? I probably have a quest marker. That requires key. And this probably key to actually escape it there. Place once we are done here. Unless you know it's just meant as a decor element. Here we have an open the door and Sally. Right, I'll be right with you, Sally. I just wish to explore what this store is. Just to be informed before. Oh, it's a robot assembly. Still requires a key. The engine room also requires a key I think they're most likely just chambers which cannot actually be accessed during this uh, thing and are just there for the novelty of it yeah so this is it pretty neat huh I never had the courage to wake them up but I think you're going to need to the spaceman has a suit and we need him to use it Why do we need a spaceman to help us? Well, because he's got a spacesuit. Can't go out in space without one. And if we're going to escape, we need to go outside. If they turn off the elevator things, that's the only other way to go. So we need a suit. See? Simple. What are these things? I've seen these all over. They put people in them, and the people go to sleep. They stay asleep for a really long time, too. Be careful if you touch them, though. They're really cold. Who are these people? I don't know. I've never talked to them. Sometimes I'd come and look at them and wonder why they're dressed like that. You see that one guy? He has this really neat suit on. Like armor or something. And that other guy? He looks just like a cowboy. I saw pictures of cowboys in books. I never saw a real one though. Okay, let's talk to the This is going to be so neat! Wait, seriously, Samurai? Wait. Do I know you? Probably not. Okay, what did I want? What did I want? I wanted explosives because that gives me the Pyromaniac work. Alright, what else may I want? Speech is always nice, but. But, 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 yeah, let's do that and then let's get more speech because speech is actually really useful for some situations uh, such as telling a robot overload to kill themselves yeah that doesn't happen very often but when it does it's good to have the skill and with these last six points I really don't know um, Sure, why not? And I guess I can max out my repair skill. Though I could find a book to do it. Bah. Consider it done. And then what I wanted was Pyromaniacs. So let's do that. Done. Oh, wait. Did we reach level 20 now? And I'm good? God damn it. It, uh, this can be seen from general, right? Last best hope of humanity. This here is Colonel Hartigan. Ooh, got two logs. Do you have a name for you, sir? No. Yeah, need something? Oh, somewhere here too. 
Just do what the girl says. Get him out of those things. Wait. I need to listen to them first. Look fine. Where's my wife? Where's my boy? What have you done with them? When I get free, so help me God, I'm gonna kill every last one of you. Ah! What are you doing? What the hell do you want with us? Let me go! Hey, that's a very really long dog, wasn't it? And uh, log six. Ah! Just let me go, okay? This is crazy. This is like batshit unbelievable crazy. I didn't do anything. I don't know what you, you want with me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually I swear, I didn't even want to be there, man. You gotta believe me. I didn't even want to be out in the field. I was hoping for a job in Washington, you know? What? What do you want? I don't understand. Why is this happening to me? What's the bad guy then? Oh man. Wait, I saw his name tag somehow. Elliot the Korean. I see your name tag, sir. Uh, Toshiro Kago. Yours, please? Paulson. And yeah, we saw your name before. Okay. Alright, so. Log 7? I hope that little girl knows what she's talking about. Or will we get into some serious trouble? And I don't speak Japanese. This is... This is incredible. I'm... I'm Colonel Hardigan of the United States Air Force. Uh, I'm sorry. What? I don't understand. Oh, uh, speaking to this? Yes. I was saying, I'm Colonel Hardigan, United States Air Force. Our nation has been conducting manned space flight tests. <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll have to forgive me. Frankly, we never expected to meet you all. I'm sure there's a great deal that our two species can learn. Ow! Ow! What the hell? What is this? What are you doing? All right. I lock the stasis. Can I take your armor? Hey, sweetie. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Like you want. You seem like you know your way around this shit. Have you been looking for something? Yeah, my sister. I think she's on the ship somewhere. Your oh. Well, How do you know that? Where am I? We were together when the aliens took us from home. I saw her on the table next to mine when I woke up on the ship. Well then, I'll help you keep an eye out. Where are they? Okay. I'll kill those little bastards. Thanks, Soma. You're the best. Onishi wa nani mono? Koko wa doko da? Seisha no ken? Seisha no ken wa doko da? Uh, calm down. We're trying to escape. Can you help us? Nani o itte oru no da? Kono chi ni miyoboi wa nai. Ittai seisha ni nani o shita? Yeah, I'm not getting a single one here. Hey there, little one. Good talk. So, where are they? Where are the little buggers? Uh, the aliens, they are all over the place. That's why I woke you. Aliens? That what you call them? So you woke me, huh? Who the hell are you? I'm a human like you. Human like me, huh? And just how do I know you aren't working with the little green bastards that stuck me in that thing? If I were working with aliens, why would they set you free? You got a point there, kid. Let me out of that thing does count for something. Tell you what, I usually ride solo, but I'll stick with you for now. You try and pull anything stupid, and I'll bury you. 
Can I just kill them all and take their clothes because they have awesome clothes? Nah, just me and my sister. I hope that little girl knows what she's talking about. I don't know what happened to in for some serious trouble. Your sister's up here? Have you seen her? Well, I saw her once, when I first woke up on this ship, but I haven't seen her since. Hey, don't worry. If she's up here, we're going to find her, okay? Thanks, Mr. Tricorian. I knew you'd help. Hiya, mister. Hello. What's, what's going on? Who are all these people? Uh, your uniform, it looks familiar, but I can't place it. My what? Who the hell are you? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Aliens! I was taken by aliens! You! You must be the aliens trying to get into my mind. Well, that's not gonna work! Private Elliot Tricorian, U.S. Army medic. Serial number 3477809. That's all I'm telling you. Uh, you're a doctor and you can't tell from looking at me that I'm no alien? Hey, you could be one of those little green guys in human form. Or maybe you are human and they just took over your mind. We have no idea how limitless their powers are. I promise you, all I want to do is get off this ship and get back home. You do? Then you're telling me the truth. Those aliens took you too. Look. I just want to get out of here and get back to things the way they were. Back with my guys. Wait a minute. My men. My unit. Have you seen them? Yeah, I'm afraid not. All I found are these people. Oh my god. I'm responsible for them. And now they're lost. Or dead. Please, if you mean what you say, that we're all in this together. Then you've got to help me find out what happened to them. I'll help you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Sorry about all this. I just can't believe this is happening. Uh, tell me how you were captured by these aliens. Well, it was getting dark. We'd spent the day out in the trenches, keeping as many of the guys alive as we could. Chinese had been pounding on us all day with artillery from these huge guns they had up on the mountains. It was really a mess. Anyway, we pitched our tents and stowed our gear to try and catch some shut-eye. I woke up suddenly to Private Dawkins screaming. He was bathed in some kind of blue light coming from the sky. All of us just froze as he just, well, vanished. We didn't know what happened. Did the Chinese come up with some new weapon? Moments later, all of us were in the blue light too. The rest, you know. What do you think the aliens want with us? Or maybe, just maybe, they're responsible for life on Earth. Like, they seeded the planet a really long time ago. And they've been coming back every once in a while to check on the progress. And now they've decided they don't like how it turned out. Can you imagine? They made us, and now they're pissed at us! Can you tell me more about where you're from? Me? Well, I was a medic with the 108th Infantry Battalion stationed at Anchorage, Alaska. I was with a squad of five other medics. Our job was to patch everyone up after the commies gunned them down. It was pretty bloody. Nothing at all like I expected when I gave up my hospital job to enlist in the army. Yeah. But I know about this Toshiro Gago guy. He looks like a Japanese samurai. Guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. What do you think the aliens want this? What if this is just some horrible misunderstanding? Like, what if some radio waves got beamed into space and made it all the way to their planet? Only they didn't hear the nightly news or whatever. To them. It sounded like a declaration of war, so they decided to attack us first. Seriously, this whole thing could totally be our fault. Do you realize that? Yeah, repeating the question? Maybe they're gonna take over the whole planet. Like, maybe they've been coming here for hundreds, no, thousands of years, waiting to hit us when we're not expecting it. And then they wipe us out and strip the planet of all its resources. I bet that's it. Okay. Sure, just watch my back and I'll watch yours. 
Did you tell us that I've dismissed this thing, do you think? Something on your mind? Yeah. Yeah? What is it? Uh, tell me how you were captured by these aliens. Doesn't matter now. Only important thing is... Well, I guess it's revenge. What do you think the aliens want with us? Doesn't matter. They're not getting it, whatever it is. Can you tell me more about where you're from? Can't say as it matters. Or that I'd feel like telling you anyway. I found this recording of you. Do you want to talk about your family? So you... You know? There's not much more to say. It wasn't just me sucked up into this place. My wife and my boy, too. I can still hear them. Crying out to me. Begging me to save them. And there wasn't a damned thing I could do. They were... They were everything to me, you know? So now I've got nothing. Nothing at all. Thank you for telling me about what happened to you. No sense in dwelling on it now. Let's just get out of here. Uh, what do you know about this Toshiro Gago guy? Some sort of foreigner, obviously. Can't make out a word he's saying. Okay. Suit yourself. Gago, can you tell me more? Thank you. And then we have Space Man. Talking about. Or we're in for some serious trouble. Yeah? Something bugging you? Since you seem so familiar with my gear, do you know how to repair it? Huh? Tell me how you were captured by these aliens. Not much to tell. I heard that radio signal. Thought I'd check it out. Thought maybe I could pull some scrap from whatever was sending the signal. Got a little more than I bargained for. What do you think the aliens want of us? Hell if I know. I don't plan on starting a conversation to ask, you know? But they won't really reply with anything sensible anyway. Yeah, can you tell me about where you're from? Does it really matter? I mean, we're fighting to stay alive here. Whatever I did before we got to this point doesn't mean a whole lot right now. What do you know about this Toshiro Gago guy? No idea what his deal is. Sounds like that gibberish you can pick up on the radio in some parts of the wasteland. All right. Go on, don't let me stop you. Hi, Mr. Oh no, that poor astronaut. Those freezers are so dangerous. Sometimes people don't wake up. I guess you better take his suit. You're going to have to go if he can't. But first, you have to get to the door to the outside. They'll be waiting for you. But you can suck out all the air and part of the ship, so they won't get in your way. They have these generator things that power parts of the ship and make sure it has air. You'll have to turn some of them off. There's one in the cryo lab, one in the hangar bay, and one where they make the robots, the robot assembly area. Once they're all broken, you can get through that door to the outside. And then, once you get to the top of the ship, you can turn the teleporter thing back on, and I can catch up to you. I guess it's time for me to get those doors unlocked for you now. This is fun! So what are these generators? How do they work? Oh, you'll know them when you see them. You push this button, and then this big thing is like, whoosh, and it comes out of the floor. And then, there are these things you press down, and it goes, and then you better get out of the way. You'll see. What do you know about this Toshiro Gago guy? Um... I think he's from the Earth's past. There are people frozen all over the ship that the aliens grabbed, wearing funny old-time clothes and stuff. All right. Don't go alone. Those generators are in scary places. Take one of the grown-ups with you. One of the grown-ups. Oh. Um. <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you looking at? Hey, cowboy, wanna help? Well, what do you want? And yeah, no mind. You go do what you have to do. Got to blow stuff up, I guess. <sighs> right, cargo hold. I don't think there's actually anything there that I need. Hang it then. Be 
be very very quiet be hunting aliens and shoot them in the face hole right in the face hole then we're gonna destroy the generators um Hello? Is that our ride home? Probably not. Would be quite interesting if we couldn't actually just get out of the here by getting on that ship and uh, leaving. It's probably too much ship. Yeah, we can't go that way. Probably ever. Are you the generator? There is a bullet drone. Are you dead yet? There you are. Do you have any loot? Yes, thank you. That is how you take care of uh, alien threats, right? Can I hit your head? Hit your head, hit your head. I can. That's nice. Right, where do you keep the generator? Says that's not the generator. I know that much. Hmm. Right, there's aliens over there. So it may just be that. They are guarding the generator. Are you dead? Um, yes. What? So they're not dead. Not dead. Let me. Drone cannon. Uh, file not found, but fuck that shit. Seriously, it has a picture for that. Must have missed at something or another. Okay, yeah, uh, repair that. And what else can be repaired? Oh, this can apparently be repaired to full fullness now because I did, in fact, uh, do that one thing. I think. It's kind of thinking. If I shoot you in the head right now, do I die? This is supposed to deal 123 damage. Why isn't it killing you? You know, fine. It's really expensive though, so I'm still keeping it. Um, okay, um, let's see now. Heal a little. And kill them the easy way. Oh, we're still alive. That's a kind of silly situation, isn't it? Oh, well then. I don't really need these atomizers, do I? Ah, fine. But there are actually items around that will... They're unique items that uh, work differently from the other alien weapons. And I think I might want to collect all of those. If at all possible. But anyway, for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time on Fallout Frame. anyone because it bounces. I'm starting to understand how the weapon works.
to their east end. <laughs> 